So today, the new patch came out, and there were some buffs to specifically vampires, and I wanted to try out the vampire deck. So the changes for the cards that we're using include Unseen Elder, is now a 6, so we can't beat Elzer's Thundered, wearing those other 5 damage bronze removal cards, which is quite good. Deadlock got a buff, so the spawn Blood Mood and Enemy Row is now 2 turns for each adjacent vampire, or 2 turns, plus 1 for each adjacent vampire, so it goes up to 4 instead of 3. So it's less bad if you don't have two vampires next to him. And yeah, so I want to try this out. The main thing would be Unseen Elder going to a six, right? Because I was playing characters before because of five, at five points, you just Unseen Elder gets just removed too easily. So I decided we could actually try out Blood Scent because we don't need the Carapus. Now they can still be locked and they can still be like Parasited or Giga Scorpion costumed or poisoned now because we don't have the Veil. But this offers us more points, and I thought it might be stronger overall, so I want to try it out. As far as the deck list goes, I'm playing Onyromancy, because we need to find specific cards. I'm playing Unseen Elder, because it's very good. Unseen Elder, if they don't answer it, can usually take a round, unless they have some equally strong engine card we don't remove. Heatwave, because I found Heatwave is kind of necessary. It's always been necessary. Crimson Curse is a very strong tempo card. If your opponent, you can use it to force a round two. If your opponent is, um, well, when the opponent tries to bleed you round two, if you open with this, you can usually take the round, but it's a pretty big commitment. Yagrin, so we have Yagrin, Azrael, and Goliath. These are for our short round potentials. We need a lot of point, points in some cards, and they're also for like big point swings because a lot of times with this deck, you're setting up engines. Like you're setting up Garkins, you're setting up Oriana, you're setting up Crimson Curve, you're setting up. There's a lot of setting up, and though you set up a Blood Moon, sometimes they'll pass because they think it'll take a lot of turns for you to catch up in points. And that's why we have the Yager and Goliath Azrael in here for the big point swings. So Oriana I added in Oriana because I went to Blood Scent from Carapace. When I was playing Carapace, I didn't play Oriana because I found the bleeding wasn't consistent enough. But now that we're playing in Blood Scent, I think it'll work out. I had to cut a few points for this. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So, so playing Parasite for the six point removal. Very good. Queen of the Night for the Purify. Without Veil, I imagine our like our Unseen Elder and stuff will get locked more often, and I'll keep uh, Queen of the Night in. The Purify is very useful. And if you don't need the Purify, four bleeding is good, makes her a nine. It also sets up a lot of stuff. Alzer's Thunder. There's no five point bronze removal for monsters. So let's take a look here. Look at the removal for monsters. There's no five point bronze removal, right? Like the best you can have in terms of, well, go to specials for a second here. The best you have is like, you know, Praetorian Dive, sure. And you can play, uh, what is it? Natural Selection. They don't do five and five's kind of what I would need because stuff like Tunnel Drill, you just have to kill, right? I imagine we'll still see some Tunnel Drill. And then, Flutter, I like Flutter. It's not the strongest engine, but if you can get it going, it's pretty good. The thing it's interesting with that's not great is how it works with the Blood Moon. So at the end of your turn, so we'll take a look here at Blood Moon. The start of the owner's turn, give a random in a row bleeding two. It's already bleeding damage by two instead. So if you play your Flutter, the opponent will, if they have Blood Moon, at the start of their turn, they'll do the two and Flutter with the Vitality, and the Flutter won't Vitality boost itself to the next turn. It's, well, I mean, it's how it, how it works, but it's not the best. So you really want to be able to set this up. The best way to set up the Flutter, so it goes to a 6, is you have, like, um, Alp, right? Alp's a good way, but I'm not using Alp right now. Alp's one way to do it, because as the order deploy to give the Bleeding. Unseen Elder is really good at it, too, because he'll give the Bleeding if you put him in the correct order on the board. And we can drag a larva because we need it. And then here's our four point bronzes. So we have the Garkins to get boosted if there's bleedings, because there usually be bleedings. We have the Plumards to give bleeding because we need a few more four provision cards. We have the Bruxes because it's a very good four. And then I cut the two Wild Hunt Riders and the Aparian Phantom to put in Oriana, right? So we needed a few more points to do this. So I cut the uh, Wild Hunt Riders down for a Feast of Blood, which is good. The Purify is actually kind of useful a lot of the time. 
And then it's a 6 or 4 and sets up bleeding synergies, which is good. And then a squirrel. You could play two squirrels, you can play two Feast of Bloods, you can play basically anything. This is what I wanted to go with, and we're going to use this and see how it goes. Now, what does he have here? Oh, I forgot to equip the Triss outfit, whatever. We'll equip it later. I'm going up against Dwarves. Yeah, I was playing Dwarves the other day. Dwarves seemed good and they got a couple of pack. Well, they seemed good at what they do, so we won't Purify for sure because he's going to play Resilience cards. Alzheimer's Thunder is not great because he has armor. These are fine. I don't really want one. Let's try and swap up Plumart. Okay, well, we have an Alzheimer's Thunder now. So have to be careful about about some stuff here. So we need Heat Wave for Bruver, and we want to keep his rows small. The nice thing about Bleeding is it ignores armor, so when he his Dwarf Berserkers and stuff, we can we don't lose our damage. Like say something like Skellige does when they have to hit into the armor, so we ignore it. As far as starting off here, though. The question is, does he play removal? Probably. We'll just go for our Garkin. We don't have any bleeding set up for him, but if he has a 5 point removal, I'd rather him use it now. Not all of them play Nature's Rebuke. So he has the Bonded Marauders, that's fine. We need to get some bleeding going. So we're going to go into the Knight. Purify here. We also have this Purify, which we want to keep too, actually. Which leaves us not many options. Right, because we don't really want to play this. We don't want to play this. And this is our big play, which we don't want to play unless we're pushing. Speaking of though, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea. We're going to push him round one here. try and win on even, because I want to force out his resilience cards, because they're fairly low tempo and we can purify them. What was this, Trap Dwarves? Oh, is this one of those no unit decks? You know, those things everyone loves? So, we have that going. If he kills Goliath, the question is what trap is this? If he kills Goliath, then we might ruin his combo, but we'll lose the round. I think the safest thing to do here is to Elzer. Mm, this is probably the safest action, right? So we're already up. Most likely he's going to have... Okay, there's the resilience. We're going to remove that. Probably going to take two damage on these guys. Yeah, you can give it Veil. I'm still going to um, purify it. Doesn't really matter to me. Sure, use your leader ability. And we're just gonna go in here with Feast of Blood. Like this. Purify, 3 damage, 3 bleeding. Arcane goes up. We don't have to win on even anymore because use this leader charge. Okay. So it's like plus 8 on those guys. Plus 8. We get plus 1, plus 2, so he's going to be at 25, minus 1, minus another 1, most likely 1. So he'll be at 23, and we'll be at 13, so we need 10. I mean, this is we'll set this up for Osrael, and we'll be all set. So we go like this, he takes the bleedings, we pass, he gets plus 8, we win. And we have our... Yagrin set up for our Osril. Now he still played uh, Zoltan, which is his other resilience card. I think here. Would he use our Crimson Curse as long as we get an Andrega Larva? Well, we really want an Andrega Larva, but I think here. Ooh, that's pretty good. So will be worth some, and we have to go first. We slung the play, but we can own Iron Man, see out an Andrega Larva. That's Osril. We have every good card in our deck except for Oriana right now. As long as I don't want to play any of them first, so we'll just open Goliath. We'll let him know we're being serious here. He might try and take this down, but 
I find it dubious he has the damage. Now we'll go into Unseen Elder, probably. Oh, he's just gonna go Geralt. Okay, that's fine. Let's get this over with. Interesting. We'll just kill that. That's the highest thing in this deck. We can force him to go, like play his cards, then we'll be in a good spot. So he's gonna have Defender. Good target for Unseen Elder. So we go Elder. Bleed this. He'll bleed the other guy. See if he has his Heat Wave. I think he's gonna have more removal than a typical Dwarf deck would. Okay, there's the lock. We can purify that off, and I think that's worth it, because we can always Heat Wave his resilience. We purify this, he probably doesn't have another answer. We purify, loot him again. Then we have our two vampire stuff next to each other for our debt left also. Hopefully we can get that going. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have Heat Wave, not great. But, I think it's time we put out our Oriana. So we go Oriana, here, bleed here, and then Unseen Elder's gonna start bleeding these other guys. Plus four in Oriana, he has to Heat Wave Oriana. There's Bruver, I'm not sure that's enough. I won't be able to play through a Bruver here. Okay, so we go here. Blood Moon. This row. Leader Charge here. And we'll get Oriana going crazy. It's basically come down to Oriana versus Bruver. Zoltan. Yeah, expected that. We have our Azrael still, which is very large. Okay, so here, we go here. We have one more leader charge. It's gonna be defended. Everything's gonna be defended, so I think think the best use of it. Not sure. The wolf hit here. They want to get the um that left death blow on this guy in the back. So I think. We have Heat Wave, it's not going to be good here. I think it's time for Azrael. If he has Yurden, he has Yurden and we lose. But I want to push him as hard as possible. We took the armor off of him. Not really what I wanted, but we'll take anything really. Okay, Company is going to armor everything in his row because he's Zoltan. This is what I was doing with the... Um... So that's really good. He's catching up. Go here. We have to heat wave this. We have three more bleeding. We go here. Let's see what he has. He's got to play some more cards. Oh, he did have Yuridin, so we just lose. Well, that's not great. Like I said, sometimes you just have Yuridin and you lose. But uh, Geralt, Arivia, and Yurden was... After he played the first Geralt, I really didn't expect the Yurden. Fair enough. Uh, Nyromancy's good. This is not. Uh, there's this. Jesus, this is probably better than Flutter. Yeah, we can't beat this. So he's gonna win here. Really didn't expect this Jordan after the first Geralt. Very strange. Well, interesting deck though, that's for sure. Maybe we should have stopped after we should not have played Osrael, but we needed the points. Now it just came down to him having Jordan. He's gonna purify that off. Party spirit, what need ye to flee this world ever free? 
problem with the servers? Of course. Of course. Well, he, he won that one. Oh, we've got an opponent. Hopefully this game doesn't end prematurely like the last three have. But uh, I'm not having high hopes here. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Okay, so we have Overwhelming Hunger, probably Vi. Although the last time I played one it wasn't Vi. Squirrels, like, whatever. If it's not Vi, it could be the Succubus deck. That one guy is making me keep the Squirrel in my hand right now. So, Garkin's fine, Brooks is fine. I don't really want to Palmark out the other one. Thunder we need in case he's having removal. Okay, we really don't need Squirrel. Let's, let's take it out. This looks okay. Don't have Andrega Larva, but nothing we can do about that. I don't want to put any of these back, really. We are going first. We just go Garkin. We boost it. Want to deny him dominance, if possible. And there's nothing else I really want the Veil on from this hand. Except Unseen Elder, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so it's a Manticore. Sure. We'll just go into our. Let's go into Flater and we'll Bruxa next. We want to try and get Flater giving us some value this game. There's the Larvas. If we bleed a Larva and he ever stops playing units, it'll die. So I think that's what we're going to go for. Let's go here. Go bleeding on this guy. End of turn. Get our Vitality going. Now we have Thunder for another thing he's going to play. We have Blood Moon. Is this the Vi turn? Okay, so it's the Succubus. I should have kept the Squirrel. Should have expected it. I mean, really shouldn't have, but... There it is. I'm just a I think here... We're going to need to play something reasonable. But first, I'm going to remove this guy. So eventually I'm going to remove it. So might as well do it now. I don't care about going down cards in round 2. I want a long round 3. Our opponent lost connection. Fascinating. Okay, he's back. That's good. Yeah, we want a long round three. I know Conquer is a problem because of the veil. We really don't really want to have to deal with that. So I want to bleed here again. Bleed his card. We're getting to a point where we need bigger plays, so we're going to start with Yagrin. You might heat wave this. Then we have Goliath. Hard Gaith, sure. Uh, that's gonna kill our Yagrin. Winter Queen. Do we want to keep pushing him here? If we play one more card, and he plays one more card, we take two on the armor. And we take two on the armor. So in two turn, two more of our turns, this dies, right? So if I play and he passes, comes back to us, this dies. At that point, we can't keep up, so we're going to pass here. Of course, then he's going to win on even, but there's nothing we can do about it. So we're just going to have to let it happen. The Manticore first play when he kills our guy is a big deal. But there's nothing we can, uh, we can't really do anything about it. At least playing Vi or something. More standard, but this could be standard now. You never know. Really want Andrega Larva. Did not get it. The hand's very powerful, but it also means we're gonna get blood really hard if he tries to, and he probably will. So we have to commit one of these early. This kind of player is gonna be playing Predatory Dive, most likely. Goliath. That's fine. So we're gonna play one of our power cards here. I think it's I would rather play Crimson Curse than anything else. So we'll just start with that. Let's 
see what he does. When Goliath dies, what do we get? We got that laugh. That's not bad. Okay, there's Gels. To be Nagelfar, unless you put our gate back in. Oh, he just didn't put it back in, so we got a GG there. I'll take the win. I'll take the win. I think we were in a good spot there for sure. I don't think he's. There's no way he's gonna win that round against us. All right, so we have Overwhelming Hunger again. Let's see. Is it gonna be the? Nothing to pick up when I'm done. Forgot to put on Triss again. Whatever. So we have again. This could be. I'm keeping a squirrel. You're not fooling me this time. Uh, Flader's fine. Do not want two of these. Don't really want to palm merge without the other. Okay, that's not really what I was looking for either. But we have the Andrega Larva to start with. And then if he plays Manticore, I wonder. This is probably some some streamer probably made this deck and everyone's copying it. Because that's what always happens. You see a deck all the time at higher ranks. Probably some streamer made it. Not even higher ranks. You just like see a deck a whole bunch out of nowhere. Streamer or YouTube ma YouTuber probably just made a video about it, and uh, everyone copied it. Now, let's see. We're going to start with a Drake Larva. That way Manticore into Leader Billy doesn't ruin us. So we'll just do this. Also, starting with a Drake Larva is just this ideal starting play. It has an extra benefit here, that's all. You could just go for a Predatory Dive or something, too. Let's see what you have, Woodland Spirit. He's got his own Andrega Larva. That's fine, because we're going to start bleeding stuff. Question is, do we go in for Bruxa first? For the Thrive, or Flader first for the Vitality? It's uh, Bruxa first, because that way, when we bleed, he has, if he ever plays a special card, this will die. So we have to play units for the next two turns. Because he's not going to want to lose the Andrega Larva just to Bleeding. When we're at 6 cards, we want to play Yagrin. Here comes his Bruxa, but we got ours off first. So we have a turn where we could play a special card if we want to. Uh, let's see, do we want to spread out or one row? One row is weak to Yurden. He's not going to Yurden round 1, unless he gets him up a card, which is okay. But Ardgeath is a problem if we go here. So I think we'll just play Flader here. You want to bleed him again, ideally, next turn on the Larva, so he has to keep playing units. The only way we can do that is Crimson Cursor Leader. So I think we'll just let it go, and we'll Alzheimer's Thunder the other one. Thrive 2. Okay, so now that we're down to 6, we play Yagrin. Because, well, if we play Yagran, we can also Thunder the Bruxa. But this way, he has the Parasite to remove it. If he Parasites, we're still up. If he doesn't have Parasite, he won't be able to Alzheimer's Thunder this. Then we have Goliath for a big play. We can Squirrel the Ardgeath if he plays it. Which he might. And then Oniromancy into Parasite. E1 Axe. Oh, that gives us Unseen Elder. That should just take the round, right? When this Vi deck gets going. Mm -hmm. Unseen Elder. I think we can just win off Unseen Elder here. So we just go like this. We definitely want to remove the Thrive too, at this point. And let's see what he has. Thargrest? Sure. Eight points. If we heat wave Bargest, does he? Do we win? Is this the kind of he has E one X? The question is: Is one of the people who plays the scenario with Vi? The other question is: Do we even care if he wins the round? 
We could push really hard round two if he does. I think I'm good with Goliath here as our play. We're still fairly far ahead. And this Bargus will just get bigger if he consumes again. Double cross into Vi. Okay. So here's the real question. This is the turn. We can heat wave here, but heat waves are only tall removal. He has no consumes except leader right now, which means that in round two, if he wants to continue with his vies, he will have to have a consume setup. And if we remove the consumes, he won't be able to push us very effectively. And we have Oriana at some point. I think we just pass here. If he wants to win, he's going to have to use his last leader charge on this Vi, which is fine. With us, I mean. We might play Emerless Wrath and take out Goliath, but... He wouldn't do that, because then he'd have to use his leader charge anyway. Whispering Hillock. Into Vi, into leader charge, he has none left, so you can remove the consume cards, and we'll be set. Okay, there we go. Fairly close, anyway. We have our Osrael now. So we have Osrael for 14, which is good. We have Heat Wave, but want an Alzer's Thunder. Squirrel's essentially going to be useless, because he's not playing the uh, succubuses, it looks like. So we'll get rid of that. Flader is okay. Pure Flummered. We have Oniromancy into whatever we want for removal, Parasite, etc. So we just have to remove his Consume cards. And hopefully he doesn't have enough. Sadly, we only have one way to do that, and that's Heat Wave right now. Okay. Squirrel. It's gonna banish our Yagrin. That's fine. We go Flater, so we're up a point. We didn't want to go Bruxa because we'd be on even points there. We want to see if we can take a card advantage here. If he's gonna push. He does play Haunt. That gives him one consume. I think we have to heat wave the Haunt. Sadly, now he has his consume, one of them. He doesn't get the Bargus, which would give him two more. So he's gonna pass, sure. We'll just go for this, go here, go up a little bit. So, he probably does not have removal in his deck. He's probably just playing Super Point Slam. There's nobody plays Heat Wave, Vi, and Haunt. Which means we should be set for the Oriana finish, the finisher of Oriana. Should be quite good. But the question is, can we will that outpoint him? Because he's going to have quite a bit. That's a good start. Again, I'd like Parasite. Okay, so here. We have we're just missing Oriana. Everything else is good. We have two removals for potential consume cards. Which is what I want. So we start Larva, then we remove his consumes, and then we end with Oriana. Go here. Let's see what he does. I'll just double check that it was Yagrin that was removed. Yeah, it was. Neckers. Okay, it's definitely time for Crimson Curse then. Then we'll go with Detlaf next. We might lose something here, but whatever. Put that in the melee row, please. Good. And we just go Detlaf. Four turns here also. Good, and then we're gonna probably go into Oriana soon. 
If he has removal, he'll probably use it on Detlef, because Detlef's going to get a ton of value otherwise. Alright, we have to kill this Consume card. That's the next step. We'll lose a Larva. That's fine. So Detlef takes out a Necker. Nope, not quite yet. He won't. But now uh, we go here. We go here. Three. You can still have time on these. But if we put it on a Necker, we guarantee one dies. It's probably worth it. So we'll make sure one of these goes. Bargazi. We have our removal for this one with the Parasite. So we'll just take care of that. Take care of this. That left gives us a three. And hopefully he's out of consumes, because I'm out of removals for them, even though we're trying to collect them. Alright, we had enough removals for his uh, consume cards. Well, I guess the servers crashed again, but we were going to win that, I believe. So I really don't want to upload a video with only one completed game in it, although two of these other ones were definitely done. Just great. Okay, Congregate. So, a Swarm deck. We have both Plumards, which is nice. Probably just the one Flutter is enough. We got a lot of good bronzes here. We're going first, We're going second. Alright, let's see how much we can get done with these bronze cards. Okay. So gonna boost up his coin count. No thunder here. Feast of Blood does set up this to die. Got it down to a 2. We can put a 2 bleeding on it. I just wanted to use the order. We could have also gone for Andrega Larva, or um, into one of the vampires first, and then gone to the Feast of Blood, but then we purify the bleeding off the vampires. We lose value. We lose value either way. So let's put 2 bleeding on him now that he's not veiled. Oh yeah, we couldn't put the first bleeding on because he was veiled. That's Yeah, we knew that. So that'll kill him eventually. He'll be forced to use the order. Go to the second Plumard. I think he's going to be fine winning this round, especially like this. These are the words of scripture. So here we go into the second Plumard. We'll just put four bleeding on something. We'll save and drag a larva for round two. Still flatter. We have Garkin. Probably go Garkin next. Let's play our four point cards. And if he ever thinks that he's... If he ever passes, because he thinks we can't catch up, we always have Yagrin. Yagrin? I don't know how to say this card. Say. Prophet 3. Sure, he's going to transform it. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll go into Garkin. We'll start getting boosted. Yugrin is always good because we have Azrael. So even if he answers it in round one. So you get three zealots. The fire cannot burn without the fall of fuel. Okay, so if we play Yagrin, we are still up. I want to set it up for uh Azrael later. If he has payday, which he probably does, he's gonna kill this. And that's our sign to leave the round. But we want it to be set up anyway. If he plays his dice array early, so he doesn't have around 2 3, that's good. 2 and 3, rather. I keep forgetting to put equip Triss. That's fine. I like Yennefer for better, anyway. So there's Sacred Flame. Is that our best target? 
for heat wave. Yes, you have you made your offering. We heat wave it. What do we gain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Doesn't have eleven points from it. But the other thing is, if we heat wave this, we can't heat wave one of the fallen knights. So I'm not going to heat wave this. We're just going to go for a little bit of bronze play here. Throw in a flater. Just force him to play another card. It'll probably be weak. But that's okay. Darkhand's been up to 7, that's pretty solid so far. He's going to activate this. The question is, what else is in his hand? Because we have Goliath access as our biggest tempo play. Oriana too, but that would require our leader charges. Going into Queen of the Night would give us 1 damage from a bleeding, plus 2, plus 2. So she comes down for 10 at this point. We got to use a charge, that's good. This is Oniromancy into Diceray. No, it's Senior. Wow, we forced out a lot of high point, high provision cards so far. Just that. Takes up by 20. Can we beat 20 in one in two turns? 19. I think so because we have we the knight comes down for four bleeding, right? So you get four bleeding something. This gets vitality. That gets two ticks. He gets two ticks. Five, seven, nine, minus one, ten. We play Goliath. So we're still fine here if we just go for this. I'm gonna bleed this. And we end our turn. He's playing high value stuff, so I want him to keep going. I'm questionable in him having crimes, seeing as he didn't answer our Yagrid with one yet. Duel, sure. Alright, now that will settle this round for him. I'm okay with that. I think we forced out quite a bit of his stuff. I'm glad we don't have to deal with Senior anymore, and Sacred Flame's gone. And we have a slightly shortened the next rounds, right? Because he's going to only go up to 8 cards at most. We'll see if he passes here. Why is he playing Dice Array? Is this a two round deck? Yeah, seriously, what are you doing, man? <laughs> we are already winning the round. Alright, we'll take the win. I'm not sure why these, um. People make a lot of mistakes today. I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's see what we have Mistress Gwintoy. Mistress Gwintoy? Sure. I keep forgetting to equip Triss. Whatever. We'll, we'll get there. So... Okay, Uprising. Interesting. Let's see, I think the servers might be fixed now, so we can actually expect a game, which is nice. There's Thunder. I want the Beast of Blood, because he's going first, right? So he's going to put that on a Griffin Witcher guy, and we can Beast of Blood that off, which would be nice. So I think this hand's pretty good. They're probably open with that, honestly. They always have it. So we go Larva to Bruxa and to Feast of Blood. We us go Flater. We just open Flater, Feast of Blood. I think so, actually. It's probably well, little Larva, Flater. Geralt? Yeah, I know what you're doing. Everyone knows this move at this point. Wait, that's not the move. Hmm. Strange. He's probably gonna still set this up. Suffering? But we can just go for this first. Have not played Oriana yet today. Would like to. But as far as this matchup, he's gonna be setting up a lot this round. If we can get a push in here, that'd be really nice. So we go Flater here. Or Bruxa. We want the Vampire to live, so we can do the... Um... What's it called? Purify. Right. Well, well the Purify happens anyway. We want the Bleeding. But Flater's more likely to live, I think, so we'll play him. 
Then we're going to go into this Feast of Blood on him once he veils it, which he has not yet. To be fair. Go for Bruxa. Griffin Witcher Adept. He's going to do one damage to us, sure. Don't oh, care. This mark, fella. Just do this. Weaken this guy a bit. Hopefully we can have any puts Crystal Skull on him. It's really what we want. As far as the rest of this, Feast of Blood we want to hold on to. Garkin will probably come down next. If we need the round, we always have Unseen Elder. We can always spend a charge or two. Probably just one. The Witcher Adept engine is very strong though. Look, it gives him a lot of points. And his shields will block bleeding from Unseen Elder, because he'll probably miss a couple times. Do the Veil, I want you to. Okay, he has not yet. But it's time for Garkin, either way. If he has Yurden, I really want him to play it in round 1 instead of later. So I'm fine just stacking it all, everything into one row to bait it out, if he needs it. Because Osrael and Oriana go in the same row, and you get your into there, it's just so bad. Okay, here we go. Here comes the Veil. And then we play our... Still no Veil? Okay, we're going to Thunder this then. 5-5. Five, five. If we do a charge here, he takes one bleeding, we get plus two on this, plus two on this. Alright, we're going to spend a charge here. This is this is worth it, I think. Because he's going to use his... He's going to set up the Griffin Witcher with the Crystal Skull now. Can I come down now? Yeah, he's just transform that. Do this. Damage. Hit the armor. Rogue Guards is a low tempo card. Fall overboard and I'm not jumping in after you. This is all we do with Feast of Blood. Good. We remove the veil as anticipated. We have the option to go into Detlath. It's not amazing. I don't want to commit too much here. But we want him to think we are. Hey, target practice. What are you going to boost? Sure. Adrenaline hit the armor. A little bit of lag there. So we're down by 18. But we have four Thrives and two here. Or three Thrives and two more two points here. So we can do this for sure. Um, is Purify going to be a big deal later on? I don't think so. We'll go her. Lead this. Because that's a lot. Then we have Detlaf or Unseen Elder next. Probably Detlaf. Okay, we just want him to play something big here. We don't have to keep going. Natalius. Has yet to speak its last. Okay, sure. This is where Oriana would be amazing. Okay, we're up, down by 18. That's not insignificant. We go down to 45 from these two bleedings. We go up by 1, 2, 3, 4 if we keep going. So it goes to 40 to 5, and we go to 35. If we thrive, we get more. Unseen Elder gives us 2 points. Whereas Detlaf probably doesn't give us anything other than his thrive value. But Unseen Elder is a big card in our deck. I still think we do this. Because now, 
Now he has to respect that um, we can win uneven. Because we'll, we'll draw at this point. Because we'll go down by 3 and we'll go up by 2. Actually, we'll win if Unseen Elder hits something with no shields, which aren't any. So right now it's a draw. He has to keep going. Getting down's another matter. Okay, there's Beringer. Sure. Call one of the two sides. Okay, right now, if we pass, well, if he, if we go again, Garkin gets plus two still. This gets plus two still. So we're at 46 essentially, and he goes down by three. He's at 52. That's a six-point differential. We could debt laugh, but we're committing a lot at that point. But then again, this card could be integral to his gameplay, right? We don't get the Thrives anymore, which is slightly annoying. I think I want to save... I think I want to save these. We'll let him have the round here. We've shortened the next round significantly. I should have stopped at the point of Unseen Elder there, but I wanted to go more. I think I got a little too caught up in that, but uh, we'll see how this goes. These two together can carry a short round, probably. Squirrel's not going to help us. If there's that. Okay, we got Orianna and two leader chargers that should carry a longer round, too. At least help out. Feels bad dropping in Drago Larvis here, but we have to. Alright, what we want to draw into is Larva again. And Azrael. We haven't played Yagrin yet, right? No. So Azrael's really bad, actually. Actually, Beringer's a 9, so Azrael's still good. Okay, Flater and Garkin. Don't really want the Garkin. Or the Flater. There's no way that Yagrin's gonna live. But, we can just open with it and see what he does. We don't have anything else good to open with. And this way has the most armor. Let's open with this. I'm gonna finish with Oriana. The thing is, we don't have many units here, right? The thing is, he's playing a Witcher deck. So we might have Yurden. Depending how this goes, I might. Just, well, we're gonna go for the melee, Azrael, at this point, unless he kills Yagrin anyway. But if he does kill Yagrin, it might be worth going for the melee, Azrael, to avoid the Yurden hitting Oriana and Azrael. So I will think about that, we'll keep that in mind. I think we might have pushed too hard round one, though, and lost our Unseen Elder unnecessarily. That was a mistake, I think. Seemed good when I was doing it, though. <laughs> That's uh, how most mistakes, mistakes go, doesn't it? Okay, so here's this. Different Witcher Adept. He's got his engine going again. Hmm. I think we just heatwave this. It's been boosted significantly, and it's his engine. So I think... And there's nothing else, because Leo... Leo will be big, but if we remove this, I think it's better. Right, because Leo's going to get boosted by one for all those guys. And he still has Vesemir, Azrael, and... Or Vesemir, Eskel, and, um... Wow, well, I can't remember his name. Lambert. There's Kelder. Uh, we can Parasite that. Tell me what you see. No, we can't Parasite that. But what we can do is set up our Crimson Curse. And then we can Parasite it later. And we want to set up something for Oriana. We want to play a bunch of guys, which we know he will. So sometimes when you have Oriana and your leader charges left, you're concerned they won't play enough units to put them on. I'm not here because he's playing this deck. He's definitely going to have enough stuff for us to put leader charges on. Yeah, like Lambert. So this is the turn where I think here we go. Yeah, this is the turn where we laugh, And then next turn we go Oriana with leader charges. Could Parasite here also. I think I want to set this up. Go here. Uh, there is no other way. 
does some bleedings up, and then Orianna's gonna become massive. Then he's gonna yurt in it, but oh well. Let's see what his next play is. We can also hopefully remove the boost from stuff this way, so the uprising's not as good. So next time we get Orianna into all of our leader charges. Okay, there's Dregory. He's gonna lock us. That's fine. He can't lock Orianna anymore. He might regret this. I think he will. Hope we can make him regret it. Okay, so Orianna. Ranged. Bleed. 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 Alright, let's see what this does. And then we're going to Parasite next turn and finish with Osrel. He's going to want to use his Uprising early now, because he knows that we'll just remove the boosts. Yeah, here it comes. So there's the Scythemans, come down for 7. What's he going to play from his hand? So with the... Oh, another Scytheman? Sure. We'll, we will Parasite off this Keldar. Alright, Orianna, this is all on you. Oops, sorry about that, guys. We'll, uh, just ignore that. I'll cut that out. Anyway, now that we cut that out, we're in Vesmir Mentor, gonna get a bunch of boosts. Good for us to draw that earlier. And we go for Osbrell on his Behringer. And hopefully... But a lot will definitely win the game. Oh, come on, man. Really? Well, we won that one. That was a win. So as far as the deck goes, it performed exceedingly well. Of all the games we played, there was only one we were certain to lose. Well, called lost. There was only one we lost, and one we might have lost. We did very well in the rest of the games. Won a lot of them. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about all the server issues. That's Well, I can't do anything about it. That's just how it is played a whole bunch of games, and we'll let's talk about the deck. What would I change? I don't think I want to change anything. I like how it is right now. Onaira, Mancy, Unseen, Elder, Heatwave, Curse, Yagrin, Detlef, all very strong. Orianna's amazing, obviously, if you can get it going. Just gotta watch out for Orianna and, uh, let's see, what's it called? Osra on the same round, because they both go ranged, and they get yurdened. Gotta be careful about that. But yeah, I think we need the, the Heatwave. Curse, Unseen Elder, obviously amazing for the deck, kind of necessary. Same for Detlef. The Yagrin, Azrael, Goliath. You can take these out for more engine cards if you want, or bump up your bronzes. But I like it for the tempo you get, the big point swings. And it gives you an option for short rounds, which otherwise you might struggle with. Especially short rounds is why they're in here. And then we have the Parasite, great removal. We can like Alzer's Thunders, I definitely would keep. There's definitely things I want to remove, and there's no other really options. Four damage is not enough, so the natural selection doesn't work for me. Then we have Flaters. They actually did pretty well. Larvas are amazing. The things you can change around here, Squirrel and Feast of Blood. Squirrel was not very useful here, but I want to keep it just in case. I like having one Squirrel, one Feast of Blood. You can obviously just swap these, and Palm March you can swap out too. But yeah, this was the deck. Worked pretty well, better than the servers did, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.